Hello friends, welcome back to Plot Hole Productions. I'm Chris Sandbrook and this is the Comic Drop, where we here at Plot Hole Productions keep you, the viewer, updated on what's brand new, what's hitting the shelves soon, and what's worth keeping an eye on. So let's get right into it. The first one we're looking at today is going to be Thor 31. The gates to Valhalla have been broken and now all the souls that have rested there have vanished. This is going to be featuring Black Panther to celebrate Black History Month. Also expect to see Doctor Doom. Coming up next is The Amazing Spider-Man 129. This is the facsimile edition, a reprint of The Amazing Spider-Man 129 that was the first appearance of The Punisher and The Jackal. Also coming out of Marvel, we've got Carnage 10. This is an interesting one. This is going to be the debut of the Spear Allblood, a weapon for Carnage to inspire fear into the hearts of the living all across space. Next up we have Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain, number one. This is going to be the debut issue of this fresh take on the superhero. Betsy was first known as the sister to Captain Britain before joining the X-Men as Psylocke. That's what she's most known for, but later she claimed the mantle of Captain Britain, replacing her brother. Next up, we have the Immoral X-Men, number one. This is a Sins of Sinister event tie-in, where we get to see Emma Frost versus Mr. Sinister. Next up, we have Punisher War Journal Base, number one. This is a one-shot comic showing the origin of the War Journal. This will show Frank Castle's life before the Punisher as he tries to fit into civilian life after the military. And finally for Marvel we have Tiger Division number four. In this one the origin of Teguchi's powers are revealed. Now coming out of DC this week we have Superman number one. This is the introduction of Supercorp a corporation given to Superman by Lex Luthor, and also the first cameo appearance of Kryptonite Claw. Also coming out of DC, we have Batman One Bad Day Clayface number one. This is a one-shot featuring Clayface, who is attempting to reclaim the dream he had before becoming a criminal, and that is to make it big in Hollywood. Next up, we have Catwoman 52, this is featuring Iko Hasegawa as Catwoman. And it's also featuring Dario Tommaso as he becomes Tomcat. Tomcat will be the sidekick to Catwoman, despite her not wanting a sidekick. Next up, we have Lazarus Planet Omega number one. This is going to be the Lazarus Planet event finale. And it's also going to be the origin of King Fire Bull. Coming out of Dark Horse this week, we've got Star Wars, The High Republic Adventures, The Nameless Terror, number one. A Jedi mission to the planet Dalna suddenly comes under attack by an unknown assailant. Also coming out of Dark Horse, we've got Blue Book, number one. This is a concept from James Tynion IV that is inspired by true weird stories. This is a non-fiction comic that tells the tales of ordinary people encountering the strange and the impossible. Other releases this week are coming from Image Comics. We've got Local Man number one. This is a series premiere about an ex-superhero who must find where he fits in to society as bodies start to pile up around him. Next from Vault Comics we've got Godfell number one. God falls dead from the sky and those down below must cope on their own as society falls apart around them. And finally, from Titan Comics, we've got Moriarty, Clockwork Empire. This is a debut issue of a new Sherlock Holmes series. That's all we have time for today, so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And comment down below, let us know what your picks are for this week. And as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more content. And as always, we'll catch you in the void.